What's up guys, welcome to new Unreal Engine 5 video. Today, I'm showcasing an amazing procedural world creation tools plugin that will save you time and help you build astonishing environments in a couple of seconds. You can check all of their examples on their YouTube channel. This is Dash from Polygon Flow, and first of all, thanks to them for sponsoring this video. So, this Unreal Engine 5 plugin has many features. Let's begin by taking a look at what I think are the best ones. We have the Content Library. With this, you can get easy access to your Megascans assets, the full Poly Heaven library, which is a really cool assets library, and your own custom assets become searchable through AI tagging system. This basically will increase so much your speed when navigating through your product in search of assets. Then we have the tools library, which is the main thing of this plugin. It features an ever-growing library of tools, all designed to improve your workflows. This includes scattering, physics, procedural creation tools, post-processing, and much, much more. So let's play around with the coolest ones and see how we can use them in Unreal Engine 5. But first, how you can get the plugin. So to get this plugin, just click the link in my description and you select download free trial. And yes, there is a free trial available, so you can test it before. Then just follow the installation process and in Unreal Engine, just go ahead and make sure that the plugin is enabled. Just make sure that you restart the engine if you just enabled it and now you're good to go. So the first tool that I want to cover is the surface scattering tool. So first of all, to access this, we're going to go up into this dash button, which will appear once we install the plugin. Now, when we go ahead and open this up, you can see that this toolbar will open. So what I want to do is basically scatter some grass on top of this default floor that I have on my level. So what I have done is imported a broadleaf forest pack, which will contain a lot of cool grass into my print. So let's go ahead and open the dash library. So to do this, we can go up into this button over here and just click it. And once I have opened this, you can see that I have access to all the content in my content browser and also mega scans and so on, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video. Now, what I have done is already computed them into the dash library. Okay, so we can just click a button when you open it up and you can compute the assets into here. So now what I'm going to do is go and navigate into my grass. So in my case, it will be meshes and then it will be used. I think it's plants. There we go. And then I am going to go down until I find some cool grass, which I think that this one will be pretty decent. And then the only thing I want to do is hold control and then drag this into my floor. And once I release it with control being pressed, I can now have three different options which is to physics drop, scatter it here, and drop here. And to force in this example, we're gonna be scattering this here, so let's just click here. And boom, instantly you can see that literally with one click, we have grass scattered all across my default plane over here. So this new panel just popped up, and we can change parameters, right? As for example, the density, the minimum uh, scale to make it bigger, the maximum scale, we can go ahead and change the noise scale, fall off with more settings that you can, you know, go more in depth as you work with the plugin. We can sync the grass into the terrain, so just in case they're popping. And then we can also change the seed, right, to change on how they are spawned and much more. As you can see, instantly we have some grass being populated. Let's just maybe increase a bit more the density. And now, yes, this starts to look a bit nicer. Let's also just maybe make this a bit bigger, like 1.2 and then around 1.5. Cool. So now, as you can see, we need to, of course, replace the default material of this floor to be something more, you know, like dirt, right? So let me go ahead and close the surface scatter panel as we have already dealt with that. And now back in my library, I'm going to go ahead and click on Mega Skins. And now I can access all of my downloaded Mega Scan assets. So I have already downloaded this kind of, you know, forest material. And the only thing I'm going to do is just find an empty spot over here and drag in this with control selected into my, uh, you know, floor. And then I can just say apply here. And now, as you can see, that material has been added. So if I go and press play, we can enjoy, as you can see, 
this beautiful scenery built in literally five seconds just by dragging and just changing a few parameters, which is really cool. <laughs> wow, that is insane. Now, I also want to show you how this tool also works, not only just with, you know, big surfaces, but also meshes. So if I now go and again, go and find my plants over here and go, for example, and pick this one and you select my uh, trunk over here and just drag it holding control. I can then go ahead and scatter on selection. As you can see now, this plant will be scattering on my selection, which is of course the trunk. And I can just go ahead and start to play around with the parameters as we did before. So we can increase the density to have more of them, which can increase the scale. We can change the surface align, so it'll be uh, popping more up. And now as you can see, if I go and start to modify this trunk, as you can see, it will start to go ahead and scatter it around and adapt to the mesh being changed which is <laughs> really really cool so if i put this into a different type of position as you can see it will also be adapting to this so that's really really cool and within a few seconds we also now have scattering on this trunk which looks absolutely spectacular as you can see so the next tool that i want to show you guys will be really cool because essentially we can draw curves into our viewport and then scatter trees or whatever you want on top of that path and basically create really cool things so let's go into our dash uh you know toolbar over here and we can also go and search for tools so i can essentially just search for draw curve select this you know tool and then go ahead and begin in this edition mode and this mode allows me to draw into the viewport. Yeah, as you can hear. So I can literally just go and begin to hold my left mouse button and draw into the viewport, which is really, really cool. Then once I release it, a big spline with a lot of detail has been created. Now, when drawing a curve, we actually have different modes. And if we double click on this quick help uh, prompt, we can actually get some different, you know, keybind combinations to change the style that we draw in so for example if we hold the left mouse button and control we basically go ahead and build a straight line if i go ahead and just make a curve and then hold the uh, middle mouse button i can just add an add an offset right in the height so we can increase and decrease the height uh, i can also go ahead and resample the control and um on the middle mouse button to change the amount of you know uh, sample points that there are and also with shift I can make it more smooth right in terms of the drawing so there are a lot of tools that we can use for this so now if I press escape on my keyboard I exit this tool and we have essentially this dash curve created so now it is as simple as just going ahead and opening the library and then searching into my trees to for example I don't know this tree over here dragging this with control selected and then scatter on selection now very important make sure they have dash curve selected once that has been selected as you can see a new tool will be created which is the path scatter and this will essentially scatter along this path so i can go ahead and increase for example the density and add more trees i can change the minimum scale max scale and many more parameters that i will not really go in depth in this video that will basically enable us to improve our world creation workflows like in two seconds <laughs> it's so so cool as you can see and we are not limited to of course only one type of asset we can go ahead and drag in more types of trees into the path scatter tool and overall create really interesting objects right uh, which is really cool now all of the items are spawned procedurally which means that at runtime we can actually modify them so i can literally just go and select a few spline points for example this one and i don't know this one with control right and i can start to move them around and as you can see they will adapt to the spline changes in the editor which is so cool i can maybe even select this one too and i've already just moved them around and wow <laughs> look how cool this is right so there's a lot of potential with these tools over here as you can see
All right, and that's it for this video. As you can see with this plugin, you can really accelerate your world creation workflow. You can download it for free in the description. Thanks again, Polygon Flow, for sponsoring this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel. I have lots of Unreal Engine 5 videos sent through, so check them out. Join my Discord server, follow me on my socials. And now, yes, with all that said, bye bye.